Hey everybody, welcome to oldpocketknives.com. This is Jesse, and today I'm going to show you part two of the case collection that I purchased. I wanted to start out today with the big jacks. So, um, one of my favorite patterns is the uh, rail splitter, as it's sometimes called. A uh, very large jackknife, and uh, you can see that the pattern number is 6299 and a half. The half refers to the clip blade that it has. Uh, this has nice stag handles. You, you'll see on a lot of these knives that it has this kind of tarnish on it or staining on the blade, but overall they're in real nice shape. None of them have been um, have been sharpened. So, uh, real nice knife. This is uh, the rail splitter. This is uh, no dots, so this was 65 to 69. Uh, here's another um, rail splitter, but this one has 10 dots as you can see there and uh, 1970 uh, now this one had yellow composition handles that it was supposed to come with but uh, they were shrinking and uh, over over time they sometimes can uh, kind of do that so i had someone um, who i'm familiar with um, on facebook who replaces the uh, handles and they did a really nice job putting a yellow on here not the exact color but it's uh, a real nice um, stable uh, handle so this was a cool knife as well all right, and finally uh, in this group we have the loom fixer, uh, sometimes called a uh, New England whaler sometimes, and uh, as you can see this one has uh, this pack of wood handle, not a bone handle, but a pack of wood handle. It's a laminate wood. It's got 10 dots, 1970, not sharpened, has a few specks on those carbon blades, but overall real nice, and the pattern number is 6217, 6217. All right, so these are baby copperheads, and as you can see, it's got this little bump on the end of the handle here on the on the bolster, and uh, that makes it a, a copperhead. This is uh, all; these all have these red bone handles, uh, reddish bone, and um, this is a 1965 to 69, no dots, real nice shape. A couple of specks here and there, but overall, real nice. A couple of blade rubs and whatnot, but. Uh, real nice looking knife as well. Uh, in addition to this 65 to 69 with the USA, uh, these two knives are also uh, 65 to 69, no dots. And there was an, an, another baby copperhead here and uh, it has 10 dots, 1970, also that same nice bone. And you can see on the back, it's got that 09, 62109X. X refers to that little bump. It's like a X, I think, uh, according to my literature, says it's an extension on the bolster. So I think that's what that refers to. So pretty cool. Next, I wanted to talk about these six medium to small jackknives. Uh, four of them are bone handles and two uh, are genuine stag. So uh, I wanted to start out with uh, this one. This one's a cool one. This is a medium jack and uh, it's from 1940 to 64. Um, as you can see, it's got bone handles, but if you compare that to the normal jigging pattern of case, you can see it's different. This is called a late Rogers bone and uh, it was uh, supplied from a different, uh, a different bone supplier. And you can see some of these uh, these Rogers bone handles on other knives. Um, it's kind of the distinctive pattern there. And I believe Pal Cutlery was one of the, the knives that used um, Rogers bone as well. So this is a nice little jack. I like this one. I think I might keep this one. Uh, here is another jack knife. And uh, as you can see, uh, it has some staining on the blade, the clip blade. It's also a case double X, which uh, dates it from 1940 to 64. And can you see that pattern number? It's hard to see, isn't it? But it's six, two, three, five and a half. So the 35 pattern. And uh, even though it's got some staining, the handles are beautiful. And um, that's a neat little knife as well. Uh, this is a small jack as well. Case double X, 1940 to 64. And it is a six, two, zero, two and a half, it appears. So the zero two pattern. And 
and uh, again some real nice uh, reddish bone handles there nice looking knife too and we got the little peanut here's the peanut uh, this one has some issues with the blade got definitely has the most staining on it but um, again not sharpened just like the others it's double x 1940 to 64 love that jigging pattern there and this pattern number on a peanut is i'll have to get back to you on that because i can't read that but maybe you can uh the other two knives right here is a nice stag handled um 32 pattern and you can see again has some staining on the blade this is a 65 to 69 and uh nice looking knife and last one for this group is the serpentine jack and does not have half stops like the others do, but it's a 10 dot, so 1970. And the pattern number is an 520 I think it's an 87. So it's the 87 pattern. Uh, anyway, nice little knife as well. The uh, serpentine pattern. All right, so next up we have some uh, of the pen knives. Um, wanted to start out with uh, this little pen knife here, little Senator pen. It's uh, Case XX Stainless USA, which uh, dates it to 65 to 69. Reddish bone handles and uh, pattern number 6279. Nice looking little pen knife as well. Okay, now we have an older pen. This is a nice one, got a clip blade on it. Uh, red reddish bone handles there uh, case double x 1940 to 64 um, the pattern number on this one this is a little serpentine little kind of curved handle uh, 06244 so it's a 44 pattern and uh, again real nice bone handles as well and then the last one i wanted to mention was this uh 88 pattern real big beefy congress uh, about four inches closed, I believe. Uh, this one has uh, no dots, so dates it from 64 to, uh, sorry, 65 to 69, and uh, has those nice stag handles. Uh, it does have some staining, <clears throat> and uh, the slightest bit of pitting on this very top of the blade here, but <clears throat> overall, a real nice looking knife. Uh, really like these 88s. All right, so real quick, I wanted to show you this one. This is kind of a, a oddball in the group here, but it's a utility knife and a, kind of a scout or camp knife. And it is uh, no dots, so 65 to 69. It is a jigged Delrin handle, so not bone, but um, the very um, utilitarian and very durable uh, Delrin pattern or Delrin uh, handles. Uh, I believe I read somewhere that these were actually contracted by uh, Camillus, uh, Camillus in New York. Um, and it kind of makes sense because of, I don't know, just the look of the look of it and the, the quality of it, the feel of it kind of feels like a Camillus from the 1960s. So I um, thought that was kind of a unique one as well. I wanted to show that one to you. It's got the spear point blade, uh, can opener, cap lifter, uh, and a punch blade as well. But it's in real nice shape. All right, so finally we have the elephant toe or the sunfish, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, this is the only one that is sharpened and used in the bunch, actually, which is kind of interesting, but it's a case double X, 1940 to 64. It's got these worn pack of wood handles, kind of looks like bone, but it is the pack of wood, the laminated wood that Case used to use. And, uh, blades are pretty full, but it is definitely used. And, uh, just real nice, big, big beefy knife. The other one here is uh, unsharpened 1970 10 dot and also with the pack of wood handles real nice knife like it all 
All right, so uh, thanks for checking out part two of the case collection that I purchased. And uh, again, I'm gonna be selling some of these knives. I'm gonna keep a couple of them though, for sure. Um, stay tuned though for part three. Uh, there's still some cool stuff left with some, um, uh, some great stag handles and bone handles and everything. So anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and please subscribe to the channel as well. Happy collecting everybody. Bye-bye.